Alright, so today's video we're going to be talking about the grammar program from a guest hollow Beowulf grammar. If you're ever interested like how Ashley why where do you find these curriculums or why do you try them out? Well, most of the time I'm asking you guys either here on YouTube or on Instagram. I'm like, hey, we're struggling with this. I need a good grammar program or a good language arts program and you guys send me in the responses and when enough of you say the same curriculum I'm like well maybe that's worth trying out and Guest Hollow's um, Beowulf Grammar was one that kept coming up when I asked for recommendations. So what I did is I reached out to Guest Hollow and I was like hey I've heard these great things I'm really interested in trying out your program let's work together. Um, so they were nice enough to give me a credit so I could make a purchase on their website and uh, share my honest review. They're like, that's we're not gonna influence you at all. Like, get on there and say your feelings. So that's what we're gonna do today. I wanted to say a quick thank you to Guest Hollow and they are a husband and wife um, couple. They are homeschool parents. They have homeschooled and graduated three homeschool kids and now that their kids are grown and no longer homeschooling, they are fully dedicated to making some of the best award-winning homeschool curriculum really. Um, I'll link their website down below. Go check it out for yourselves but um, it's just really nice to when you're not works a lot of times and these big companies are fine but like when I actually am talking to like the owners and like I know who's like writing their curriculum and you could just see the passion that's just something that is really cool as well. All right so let's talk about specifically grammar. So this video is all about their grammar program. I'm also going to be making a video on their language arts program that also uses this grammar. So if you're interested to see that language arts video and you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out when that video comes out. Now I also have something very exciting to share. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway as part of this video and that language arts video. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm giving away two $25 gift cards to Guest Hollow. And so you can enter on today's video and then you can also enter when that other video comes back. All the giveaway details are gonna be down below um, for you to enter. So I'll remind you guys again at the end of the video, but you can win $25 to Guest Hollow. Um, there can be two winners or you could be lucky enough to win both giveaways if you watch and enter on both videos. How did I come across this? I have decided to stop using one of the language arts curriculums that was more of an all-in-one curriculum that just wasn't working. I had used it for four years between two of my kids and they're both of my daughters are just completely different but I just knew something was lacking and so one of those things specifically was grammar. I wanted just a more daily in-depth grammar but I didn't want it to be boring. I wanted my kids to really enjoy it and so obviously when I was recommended to try out Beowulf's grammar from Guest Hollow um, I was already just um, completely engaged when I saw the adorable dog. We are a dog loving family and so that was something that really was like oh my kids love dogs so if there's going to be a little dog teaching them grammar like we're already going to win this. That already I know and for our homeschool right that's going to be an engaging factor because it's something my kids are going to enjoy looking at every day laughing about all of those so let's go back and just like start from the beginning so Beowulf grammar it's a online PDF download so if you purchase it from the website you are not going to get a physical book it's going to be a digital download so you would either print it yourself or send it off to the printer. Um, if you need a recommendation for a print company, my favorite print company is Watson Family Press. Um, Gabby over there is a wonderful homeschool mom. I have gotten tons of stuff printed from her and it's one of the only printing companies I recommend because it's the only one I use. So I'll link her, her down below. Um, that's where I recommend if you don't want to print it out yourself. I just got myself a awesome new printer and so I decided to print it out. I would recommend is going through it. You don't need to print everything out but it is formatted to print double sided and all of that so you can save some paper. So when you get the grammar program it is a standalone grammar book that is over 400 pages. It's huge. When you buy it, you can, I think you get it in two different ways. You get like the whole 400 pages in like one PDF or you get it broken out by like semesters, four different semesters. So what I did is I just printed out the first two like semesters, which are um, 
weeks one through nine and then weeks 10 through 18. And so I just kind of put them in a binder and then separated the two um, like semesters that way. In the first week, you're gonna get that table of contents that goes over all of the different topics your kids are gonna be learning. Um, there's different worksheets, there's reviews for each week to really make sure your kids are understanding everything. This is like written towards a kid. And so if you have more of an independent, eager learner, they really could read this and kind of just work through it on their own or it's also written where you know you can kind of go through the lessons with them the different activities i really like it because again it has the beowulf dog it has characters it has stories and i think it really calls for kids to be engaged if they like those kinds of things um if your kid doesn't want cartoons and maybe they don't like dogs like maybe that's just them i don't know if this would work for them I'm gonna be honest but if your kid likes dogs, I think like most kids, and they like some fun activities, they like learning to be a little bit more engaging, I think that this would be a really good curriculum. Um, it goes into all the different parts of speech, it has tons of different activities, like I said, so there's cutting and pasting and hand, like manipulatives, um, you know, there's just so many different activities, there's writing activities, editing activities, so many different things that really, um, you can maybe even pick and choose. If you have a kid that doesn't like cutting and pasting or maybe that cutting and pasting activity doesn't work in your homeschool that day. I don't think there's any right or wrong where this is built that, you know, just skip it. If it's not gonna work for you, you don't have to do it. So that, what I just showed you is like what you can purchase um, standalone. You don't need anything additional, but they do have a teacher's manual. Now, this was something I originally didn't get. And as I was like, you know what, more, I'm like, I think we're going to use this curriculum. Maybe that teacher's manual would be good to have. And so I did go ahead and purchase the teacher's manual, printed it out for myself and bound it. Um, I don't like binding my kids stuff, especially when there's cut and paste activities. It's easier to put in the binder. But for me, I like having it bound. And so um, I did that for this. Basically, it's every single page in the uh, kids activity book like this with all the answers so I don't think you necessarily need this because I don't think that us as parents can figure it out because this is for grades two to six and so um, I think for the most part we can kind of figure out what the answer should be but for me um, sometimes I don't have time to figure out the answers I homeschool two other kids so three kids total I work from home and so any time saving that I can get I'm gonna get and so um, having just that answer key is awesome but also it comes with a schedule and so it comes with a schedule where it kind of says okay this is how you can use this curriculum over the course of a year for this many days per week you can use it how you see fit so um, I like that and then also has just extra types of activities different like prompts for teaching and so for me it was worth getting the teaching guide um, but you don't have to get it. So don't feel like you have to and you're just going to be at a loss. The standalone just grammar kids activity guide is more than enough. Um, I just like to go that extra step and make my life a little bit easier having that teacher's guide. So we have just started using it and so it would be very unfair for me to say oh my gosh I love this we're going to use it forever because you don't know. You don't know a curriculum until I would say you're a few weeks in even a couple months in. I know sometimes it's very easy right away to be like nope this isn't working. Um, for us it's the opposite. We really like it. It is working but it wouldn't be fair for me to say anything until I think we get a little bit more into it. And so I will be doing a few more update videos, um, m you know, mid through using it, if we're going to keep using it and how we use it. Like we just started trying it out. So once I come up with a better flow and schedule, I will be sure to share. However, something interesting that happened this week is we're also trying out another grammar curriculum. And that grammar curriculum is fine, but in that grammar curriculum, it was asking us to identify some nouns. And we were not able to identify one of the nouns. And I'm saying we as my fourth and second grader, they were working on it together. And um, obviously I had the answer key to that curriculum and so I was able to identify that extra noun. Well, that curriculum 
doesn't necessarily explain to you why that word is a noun. It just assumed you should know why it's a noun. Um, and there was no assumption. We didn't understand why it was a noun. So that kind of took me back and I'm like, well, this curriculum is working fine, but it's working fine because we don't need extra explanations. Now working through the Beowulf grammar, there's those same type of activities. Hey, identify the nouns, give me three nouns. But the difference is it's actually giving you lessons and examples and explaining why certain things are nouns. And, and if you're curious as what I'm talking about, yes, nouns are people, places, and things, and those are very easy. So are ideas. And ideas are not always extremely point blank, especially when your kids are first learning those are nouns. It's always people, places, things, or yeah people, places, and things. <laughs> it's never ideas. That is not the common thing that gets told. And so knowing that, because I, I saw it in real life happening, as soon as I started going through the Beowulf grammar, I'm like, oh, well, I don't think we're going to have that problem because I can already tell how in depth it gets with teaching and explaining. So these kids really understand why something is what it is. And so when they're um, doing either sentence diagramming or trying to pick out certain parts in a paragraph, they know why. And I think that's more important than anything is why. Why is that word this? Why is it having me do this? So just something I think that I can genuinely share of a difference I've already seen of why I really like this grammar program is I just think it goes a little bit more in depth. Now it is for grades two to six and I think that's kind of interesting, right? That's a lower elementary to middle school. I know sixth grade in our state is middle school. That's a, that is a big change, right? Like even my kids being two years apart, that's a huge difference in curriculum. And I think knowing that, knowing that maybe sometimes some of these lessons go really in depth because it can go towards that sixth grade middle school kid, maybe your second grader doesn't need to go that in depth. And that's what I'm like, actually, you could kind of almost reuse this grammar program like over multiple years. You could really just kind of touch the surface of certain topics, not get that in depth at those younger grades. And then as they get older, maybe another year or two, then repeat it and go more in depth. Then they're more familiar. They know what it is, but let's go a little bit further and explain more of the why behind it. And so that is something that I really like also. Um, plus you can do it with multiple kids. I can do this with my second and fourth grader or next year, my third grader and my fifth grader. Um, I have very, <laughs> I have learned as a homeschool parent, if you can combine a topic or a unit and teach two of your kids together instead of trying to teach them separately, um, it makes your homeschool day go much, much, much smoother. Um, and it builds those sibling relationships, right? They get to like be classmates and work together and your older kid gets to help your younger kid and your younger kid gets to look up to your older kids. So um, I like that too that this can be used with multiple kits. Another thing that I really like is it does have weekly reviews. And so that is something, right? Like you work on these activities all week, but I really do like to check for understanding. And so when there's things like little review pages, I actually like having those in our homeschool um, because it helps me like, do we need to revisit this? Did you understand it? Are you understanding it at the level I think you should be understanding it? So they have like a weekly little review that I really enjoy. And again, that is something that maybe you use with the older kids and maybe not your younger kids. Maybe you don't wanna put that kind of stress or pressure on your younger kids, but you do on your older kids. So that's something that you can adapt as well. Go on Guess Hollow's Language Arts Program, but it does tie in to the grammar. So if you do the Language Arts Program, one of the required books is the Beowulf Grammar. And they also kind of break it down where, okay, this is the entire grammar section and they have like recommended resources that go with it. So obviously the Beowulf grammar, but then they have lots of fun books that go along with it. And so what I did is I only a couple weeks out cause they give you like, okay, this book is gonna be used in week one, week two, week three. I went out a couple weeks, like I think to like week six and I, these are all the recommended books. And I went and searched at our local library and got the books for that. And so I'll pop a couple up here, um, but 
It's also like fun books that make things like nouns and verbs um, a little bit more memorable and to explain some of those things. So this is again where I think they make their recommendations like these are really good books, try these books. But if you as the parents say, you know what, my second grader may love this type of book and it may engage them, but my fifth grader would would be almost offended, right? It's too little kiddish, it's not their level. Well, you could use that same recommendation. I'm sure there's a fifth grade book on nouns that you could get to them, or you could do something else on that. So um, this curriculum is not boxed in. And what I mean by that is they're not saying you have to do this, 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 and this. They're giving you, which they refer to as a buffet, of resources and recommendations, but ultimately it's up to you as the parent and teacher to really adapt it to your kids and your homeschool. And that is something that maybe my first year of homeschooling um, would have thrown me off a little bit and I would have been like, I don't know what to do. I don't know guys, <laughs> this or this is too much. I can't figure it out. I don't know what to pick and choose. However, now that I'm a, a much more confident homeschooler, my kids are much more confident children homeschoolers, um, I, I really value this type of curriculum. There's a reason I, I like to homeschool, and one of those is having the freedom to choose what curriculum. And so when I feel like a curriculum is too boxed in, I get a little, ah, like, I don't want to do it that way. With a curriculum like this, they give you a very good baseline. Like I said, this grammar program, you could literally just pick up the grammar, do a page every couple day, like every day a couple pages, and that's it. You don't have to do anything extra, but if you want to do something extra and you want to you know, adapt it for different kids and learning styles, they really give you all those resources to do that. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be doing a couple more update videos as we use this curriculum a little bit more, so I can just give you some more feedback on it. But overall, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm really glad I found it. It's kind of what I was looking for. So I'm really excited to keep using it, especially into our next school year. Now, don't forget, the most important thing, I'm giving away free money. So I'm giving away two $25 gift cards to Guest Hollow. Sign up to enter in this video description. All the details are down below, as well as there's another video coming out on the Language Arts Guest Hollow program that has the second giveaway to enter. So you can enter both giveaways, and if you're that lucky, you could win both, which means you'd win $50. But overall, there's two $25 gift cards up for grabs that I will be giving away as um, just saying thank you for watching all my content and I really do like this curriculum and so I would love for one of you guys or two of you to be able to purchase some of it. And second, again, there's the language arts video coming out. So if the grammar intrigues you, then just wait till the language arts because there's so much more to it. It has writing, it has spelling, it has vocabulary, it has so many different things and it's truly a unique program. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have questions, comments, leave those down below and I'm gonna wrap it up here. Have a great day guys. We'll chat soon, bye.